I, I think a good season because we finished obviously we're winning the FA Cup at the same time disappointing that we didn't get to the Champions League final again uh, disappointing that we come third you know um, one lower than last year so I think next year we need to make sure we start a lot better than we did uh, and really push for the Premiership again so I'd love to win that trophy again and obviously be back in, in the mix for the Champions League. No, not at all. And I think that comes with, with when you hear things with, with a band for Didier and, and Boss Winger. You know, it's disappointing because, as I say, I just like the, you know, the people in charge who are making these decisions to take things into perspective. Boss Winger, I don't know where that's come from. Uh, obviously, every player was feeling what Boss Winger felt, you know, and, and thankfully nobody else said what, what he said, but he, was on the, he said what every fan and every player was thinking. With what happened with Didier and, and the comments that was made after the game, I think it took, took the hype away from the referee a little bit. Listen, it was a very bad performance from him. We all realised that, and the Chelsea fans are feeling exactly what I'm feeling. You know, three or four clear penalties that, that we should have had that night. And that's something that, as a fan and a player, you'll, you'll never sort of you'll never forget, because maybe if we'd have got there, Man United didn't perform on the night, that maybe could have been our year. It's been okay. I think the players have dealt with it uh, very well. I think it's important now under Mr. Lottie that, that we get a bit of stability now for two or three years. We get a settled team, a settled manager, and we really build and, and move things in the right direction because thing, things have been a little bit up and down with managers coming in, changing new tactics, training methods, and things like that. And the players have to adapt very quickly. So it's important for us that you know we realise that Angelotti is coming in for a good few years. He's going to bring his own players he wants in, his own staff, his own training methods and we can adapt to that and, and keep building and moving Chelsea in the right direction. Oh, 100%, probably more so than, than anybody else. You know, I want to make sure, you know, first and foremost, I'm, I'm in the team, but I, I'm, I'm the captain of Chelsea still next year. Uh, the manager's got to make their decisions, but that, that's things that go through your mind as a player. You know, when new managers come in, I, I, I really promise you, no matter who you are at a football club, the manager can have different ideas. You've seen in the England team with Michael Owen uh, and things like that when, when people are out of favour, you know, they don't, they don't get a look in. No, we did, we loved him. It's, it was a shame because he was a, he was a fantastic guy, a fantastic manager. When he came in, he kept things very simple, training was very good, he demanded the very best from players every single day. And I think that's key when you're on top of the players every day and demanding the best from them. You know, you get that and that, 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 that follows into games. And I think we had that. Uh, that coincided with obviously good performances, good results. But a lot of credit, you know, deserves to be given to him and Ray Wilkins for the, for the job they've done. You know, the fans loved us, give them a great send off, and I'm sure he'll, he'll play a big part in Chelsea's future. <laughs> oh, I can't answer things like that, come on. <laughs> Lamps, I, I work with Lamps every day, I see how good he is. Very, very bizarre and very strange actually because I think I, I've told every Chelsea fan and I've told Mourinho that you know, I've never had a better manager in, in, in the world. He's been the best manager I've ever worked with. Um, and for people to, to sort of question uh, me sort of having the power, first and foremost, to get rid of the manager, I'd fly me. If, if I had that much power at a football club, believe me, I would have changed an awful lot of things a long time ago. I'm, I'm Chelsea captain, it goes no further than that. I was never asked about the decision about Mourinho or anything like that. I was the one on the phone, along with Frank Lampard, Didier Jogba, at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning to Peter Penn and Roman Abramovich, trying to persuade them to, uh, to keep him. Oh, um, Liverpool. Anything of Lionel Richie. <laughs> um, it's got to be Bex, isn't it?